Post Pilot Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install the uh, RTL software. Now I'm running this on a Raspberry Pi 4, but it should work on basically about anything. Anything Linux. Uh, but this is the uh, RTLSDR.com uh, uh, version, the blog of the RTLSDR software for the uh, the silver grayish RTL SDR.com uh, dongle, the USB dongle of uh, version 3. So we can do an update and within, with installing this version we can enable the bias T that's built into the uh, RTL <coughs> to turn on a uh, LNA or what not you may be using so uh, we can turn it on and turn it off with uh, basically one simple command so we're just going to do an update and install some packages here I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this information and then we're going to clone the directory it's pretty simple kind of like basically just like the uh, the uh, original version of uh, RTO no basically no different kind of same process so we'll download it CD into the uh, RTL directory we're gonna make a build uh, directory then we're gonna CD into it then we're gonna do a C make on it <coughs> and we can go ahead and make it now i'm running the uh, raspberry pi 4 with a uh, solid state drive so it won't take too long to uh, build this <clears throat> so once this is done we can install let me just clear that we can do a sudo make install Okay, then we can copy the rules. Then we can run the config command, basically, you know, just like we normally do. And then we're going to blacklist some things using echo. So, what we can do now is just to be safe, we can just do a pseudo reboot on this guy. <clears throat> then I'll show you how to turn on and turn off the bias T then uh, what I'll do is once this portion of the video is done I'll uh, record a second uh, portion of the video to uh, show the turning on and off of the uh, bias T so alright let's restart my terminal log back in we'll clear that so we're going to get back into the directory here <clears throat> so now we're back in it like we just was and if we do ls as you can see we have the src directory so we're going to cd into that guy and now that we're in there if we do another ls as you can see, we have a bunch of different things here, but we're going to be using this guy right here. So, we're going to type in the following. And to turn it on, we're going to do a dash B, number one, enter. <clears throat> and I don't have my dongle plug. have it plugged in but I'm using a USB hub which has power a switch on each USB to turn the device on and off and it was off so now if we rerun this my bias T is turned on and if we replace the one with a zero we can turn the bias T <coughs> off but we got an error so 
I don't know if it's because I plugged it in after. Let me see. All right, I fixed the problem. My uh, USB hub I have plugged into my Pi. For some reason, the uh, it don't like the RTL or whatnot, I guess. It's a USB 3.0 hub. Uh, I plugged the uh, RTL directly into the uh, USB on the Pi. And uh, as you can see, we have no errors. Turned it on and off. Uh, leave a link. Leave a comment and a link below the video here to see if anybody else had that problem with a uh, USB 3.0 hub. Um, so, kind of weird because I just, I think I used it before and it was fine. But, I don't know. So anyway, uh, that's how we do it. And like I said, I'll show another uh, clip here in a second. Uh, actually turn it on and off. So, thanks for watching and I'll be right back. All right, so I got my RTL there plugged in. I have a uh, amp here plugged in that has a little LED light right there. And I'm logged into my Pi. So let's turn this guy on. All right, so if we look, we have a light. And if we go up here and change this to zero, and there we go. It is turned off. All right. Hopefully this helped out. Like I said, I'll throw a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.